Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the Legend of Korra episode number 7 and 8 reaction. Okay, um, the previous two episodes, uh, in, the, uh, pre uh, in the previous episode, the first, uh, not the first, sorry, uh, episode number 5, uh, we had like a full blown <laughs> drama, you know, involving Korra, uh, Bolin and Mako and Asami as well and it was like you know like it, it was a very un not unusual but something that i was not expecting like you know of uh like something related to the avatar franchise and it seemed a lot more like you know drama centric and everything which i kind of <laughs> enjoyed in a weird way like you know seeing them like ha you know having misunderstandings and stuff and you know normal teen teenage rom-com drama stuff and uh, i have to say like you know like i'm i'm very impressed with bolin you know he is pro currently he's probably my favorite character in this like you know in this show uh, maybe maybe stuff will change as we meet more characters and all and i like Korra. Korra is okay um uh, mako is okay as well asami is fine uh, but i i really like bolin you know <laughs> kind of um i kind of said this before as well like you know he reminded me of saka even though he is not as good as saka you know with his jokes and stuff but he has that vibe and i'm i'm kind of liking that maybe maybe he'll grow on me as you know as the episodes go on just like how saka grew on because at the beginning i really i, I also did not like saka but as time went on he be became one of my favorite characters so <laughs> maybe he'll also grow on me we'll have to see wait for that but you know as i said like you know normal drama stuff happening like you know like uh, Mako likes Asami, Asami likes Mako, Mako doesn't know what to feel about Korra, Korra likes Mako, Bolin likes Korra, this, that, and my god, it was a mess. <laughs> but in the end, everyone kind of like, you know, like made up and everything was okay. So that was episode 5. Episode 6, we had uh, the fight against the, uh, what was their name? The The bats or whatever, I can't remember the name. The wolf bats i think that was the name you know like them as always like you know, acting pompous and whereas they were like yeah we are better than everybody and them like you know bribing the staff like you know in front of everyone and not even caring and like you know like seeing how corruption is rampant in this place so that was that in comes amon he takes the bending away which i'm actually glad about because if they had their bending with them they would have been a, like you know they would have probably messed a lot of things up a lot messed a lot of people's life in the future you know they're, they're, they're basically like scum and i i feel like like the, the thing that happened to ozai the same thing happened to them the bending was taken away and i think that's a good punishment like you know they they're alive and well the only thing that they won't be able to bend i think that's good so that was that but still amon doing like you know stuff like this is obviously not okay like you know him doing his terrorist you know kind of stuff uh attacking people and everything um gora and uh what was the name of uh toff's daughter i forgot young or something like that i can't remember sorry i'm i'm, I'm surely I'm, I'm going to get reminded as we watch more of these episodes but anyways uh toff's uh, daughter uh the police officer uh, you know the police uh, officer lady she and Cora kind of had like, you know, like had like a t little teamwork moment and, you know, like they helped each other. And yeah, that was that. So Amon went, uh, got away, but at least we're all, all fine and okay, you know. So yeah, let's see, like we need to up the security even more. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, let's get started this episode number um, seven. So let's see what happens. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it whichever is a preference. Let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's watch. <clears throat> that's very true you know this thing like the people who are calling equalists are not equal at all <laughs> wait what 
Someone should slap this guy. Someone should go and slap this guy. This guy is annoying. Okay. Wait, what is this? Oh, the attack. Okay. Oh, this place is shutting down? Uh, okay, good. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, wait, she's here already? <laughs> yeah, avatar stuff. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> Babus. <laughs> Whoa, what? What is? What are those? Those look cool. Oh my god. Ah, oh, here we go. The. All right, Cabbage Corp. I'm I'm feeling suspicious about that name. I think it's the Cabbage guy. Like, did he like really? Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should laugh, but what is this? Oh my god, poor guy. This guy, his curse is eternal. He and his cabbages can never live in peace. Who is this? Wait. Oh, okay, that guy. Hmm. Okay. He's depressed, like obviously. <clears throat> whoa, what, what? Oh, is this a Samus mansion? My god. Huge. This place is huge. <laughs> Pablo. Oh, wait, really? Wow. <laughs> wow. Um Wow, okay. Master Pabu. <laughs> wow. Oh. Again he jumps in. <laughs> this guy. Oh my god. What? Racing? Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Makes sense. <laughs> what a bad dog. Okay. Oh, 
All right. My God. Okay. This is pretty dangerous. Unless and until you're a professional. Like, you, like, you know, the, the car is like all open and that makes it even more dangerous. Like, you can just, I don't know, like. Yeah. Um, okay. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh boy, <laughs> bowling. <laughs> okay. Well, everything's going well. Um. Cora <laughs> Oh my god, what's happening? Wait Oh my god, wait a minute Is, is he involved in the Equalists? Oh no! Air sit, <laughs> baby bend. Baby bend. <laughs> okay. All right. <coughs> My eyes and ears. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, it would make sense. Oh boy, the authorities are here. Oh no. They are going to misunderstand. <clears throat> oh my god what death yeah. oh they should have waited for to get more proof. Like they suddenly barged in. Ah uh, no! Don't do this! Oh my god! You need more proof. Come on. And they'll get more alert now. Oh my god. <coughs> they should have waited, you know. Oh my god, this is getting more 
Oh no, this is getting more and more, like everyone's knowing this now. <sighs> yeah, they needed more proof. Oh my god. Shut up. Oh my god. Okay, my my respect for this guy is dropping as as the episodes are going on. Like obviously Gore won't do something like that for this petty of a reason. Wow, like Marco is being really I, I don't like him anymore. Like oh boy, great. Now another person suddenly. Oh, Oh, maybe that guy is going to help us or something. Okay. I thought maybe he's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this guy's, this, this guy's going to help us. Wait. Okay. There you go. You have proof now. Kind of. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> but we have enough proof now and evidence hmm all right so what are we doing going guns blazing or just guns blazing there you go <laughs> maybe not yeah behind the house okay <coughs> that's suspicious All right. Well, there you go. There's some hidden. There's some hidden room here. Sure. Yeah, there's something here. Ooh. Okay. This is. And. There you go. Yes. There you go. Well, you have proof now. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Because they could get involved in this, like the normal civilians. Don't you dare make that face. This guy, I really don't like him, Marco. Like the past few episodes. Up oh, there you go. Proof. <coughs> yeah. Oh my god, these things. Yep.
Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> Headbutt him. Oh no, never mind. Uh, that can also do. <laughs> Guys, you're gonna get arrested after this ends. <laughs> what do you do? Come on, let her go. Or maybe not. Okay, never mind. Well, this became a more... Yeah. Platinum, okay. Oh, great. Wow. Come on. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> oh god ha ha good joke <coughs> <coughs> okay what now oh <laughs> great like killer robots are trying to kill us ah uh. I don't think those will do anything to them. Okay, there you go. <coughs> nice. Oh, oh, nice. Ooh. Oh no, electric! Oh no! <clears throat> oh! Oh my god! This is too many of them! Oh! Oh my god, look at that. Yo. Oh no. Oh god, this is a mess. Oh, he's coming out. Come on, this is your chance. But I guess everyone's all knocked out now. Oh, great. Oh my god, they're really getting captured. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you just need to wake Tenzin and Korra up. That'll do. Or, yeah, maybe carry them away. Oh my god. Oh, saw them. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh. But how did she- oh, she came following them.
not these vendors not these you're you're collectively referring to oh my god Aman is the same oh don't you do that come on like slap it away or something throw it away or throw it away slap it away or, or, or use it on him or something I don't know yeah there you go Well, she did the right thing. Like, obviously, like, um, <laughs> Cora's face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's run. Like, we, we can't. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh. Nice. Oh, God. What a mess. <clears throat> What? No. <coughs> Outside the law. That didn't give you the right to actually like, you know, put the blame on her. Say that she's doing this because she's jealous or something. Like, how insulting is that? <sighs> okay, that's it. Um, is that the end? Yep, that is the end. <coughs> okay, um, yeah. Now, and here's the thing, you know, um, the thing that I don't like about uh, Marco is not that he jumped into conclusions. Obviously, it's it's like you know it's e like you know easy to build, not easy, but it's obviously like you know uh, you you are going to have a little. Just a sec. Oh my god, I did not set my mic properly. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, as I was saying, um, so the thing here is, it's not that I'm like you know not like you know I'm kind of mad at Marco because the way he uh said that no uh, i don't believe you that's not the re reason why i'm actually mad at him obviously everyone would say that no one would actually believe you if you don't go give them proof you know same thing that uh, like you know, asami did it bolin also did it marco also did it but the thing that i'm actually mad about is him saying that oh because you are like you know like you, you're jealous of me and uh, asami that's why you're blaming her dad like like the implications of that she he's actually implying that because Cora is jealous he, she, even though she's an avatar, she would actually blame an innocent person just because she's jealous. Like that, that implication. That's the thing that I'm actually mad about. That how can he, like you know, how can she, like you know, like like that's what he he thought about Cora all along. He's been interacting with her for quite a while. Like you know, is that what he saw in her? That a person who would be that easily jealous and like you know blame an innocent person. Big, just because of her own jealousy is that what he saw in Korra that's what I'm mad about you know like that is the main thing that I really don't like this is the thing that actually annoys me about Marco like I understand that he, he obviously he, he's not an adult he would make mistakes but like the basic trust he, he doesn't even have that on like you know Korra like what why would he even say that to Korra at that moment that Oh, you're blaming someone completely innocent because you don't like me and Asami hanging around. Like what? Oh my God! Like that? Like that one line? Like plummeted my respect for him a lot. Like you know, by a huge margin. Like I think that like you know, even in the previous episode, I was like, yeah, he's kind of like you know, like a bit of a what can I say? Um, like you know, jumps into conclusions a bit. You know, like I don't know, like 
does his own thing what he is best like he like I, I don't like that but it's okay because yeah it's, it's just a kid and this is like you know like, this is just uh, like his teenage years i think he's a teenager yeah it's just teen teenage years like obviously he, he's going to say stuff like that like <clears throat> i just <clears throat> brushed it aside saying that in the previous two episodes but this episode i i really cannot <clears throat> forgive marco for that one line like you know like that that really implies that he thought that Cora would actually do something like that. Even 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 after he spent so much time with Cora, you know, they're in the same team and everything, and that's what he comes up with. That you're saying this because you're jealous. Like my God, like if Asami would say that, like you know, I wouldn't say that much. I it would have been understandable because obviously Asami knows nothing about Cora. This is the first time they're interacting. You know and uh, like you know uh, and uh, this is something that is actually related to her own dad you know the person that she respects the most in this world that is her dad this is actually something related to his her dad and you know someone is accusing her dad of being a uh, terrorist you know you may say so like if, if uh, Asami said at that moment that oh you're doing this because you're jealous of me and Marco you know it would have been fine. You know, I could have still understood that. You know, Asami never says something like that. The one who says that is Marco. Like, my God, I, I don't know. Like, you know, like, I, I, yeah, I'm really not that good with Marco. Like, he's okay, but I feel like he's, he's a bit too, what can I say? Impulsive doesn't think much like you know like he, he just i don't know anyways like i think i'm i'm stressing on this a bit too much but you know like i think this is something that you should actually think about like imagine your friend suddenly uh like you know accusing you you know not only your friend like to cora like marco is someone that she actually genuinely likes and imagine someone like that actually accusing you about a you accusing you about you accusing someone about a crime you know that he or she did just because you are jealous of you know of, of of him of that person like just imagine that that scenario like that's the most insulting most i don't know like what can i say that's that's not something that i would be able to accept at least like i think cora took it a lot more easier then <clears throat> i would have taken that accusation like you know like just marco in the end marco just says oh i'm sorry and of course like ah it's fine like i probably wouldn't be able to take that in, in that manner because this is a this is a serious matter you know like this is the matter about equal equalists terrorists like how could he even say something like that that oh you're jealous and that's why you're blaming others like what like, this it's not a joke oh, my god anyways um <clears throat> yeah this episode <coughs> in the beginning we see you know like the whole situation what happened after that the aftermath of the whole um incident uh marco bolin and asami they're they're going to not asami like marco and bolin they you know, they're invited to their mansion to stay there and <coughs> and you know like be there and just uh because the whole place got wrecked and they won't be able to sit, you know, stay there and uh we get to see like you know the insides of the sato automobiles the place the whole huge mansion you know swimming pools and stuff there's a whole track a race track or whatever you call it with cars and like you know like the the, the test the the test that you do with the automobiles that thing and uh asami took cora in with, to on a little ride on the on the car and <clears throat> you know like we see that cora said oh, cora also said that that yeah like i kind of thought you were someone different but you know like you, you're good you're cool no i like you and asami was also like yeah like that's a common mistake like, you know everyone kind of says stuff like that and i don't mind like you know i'm I, I practice like you know self defense and stuff. I'm good with it, and kind of having like you know they, they were like kind of becoming friends in a way I guess, which 
uh which is good you know because we always saw like you know like Korra obviously having like a little um what can i say like a little problem not problem you know like it's actually really not awkward but kind of uncomfortable with asami because you know asami likes mako and <laughs> so so it was good to actually see them actually like you know kind of talk and like you know become friends a little bit and it felt like he Kora was actually accepting you know like he was, she was actually accepting the fact that yeah you know what like i might like mako but asami is there now so yeah like so then stuff were happening he goes to the washroom and listens to hero i think hero yeah hero hero satoshi uh, <clears throat> talking about the whole situation of how they blame the cabbage corp my god ah like the cabbage corp this guy and his cabbage never gets a break you know like i don't know like <laughs> you know what i don't know what happens to the cabbage guy by the end of cora but it wouldn't actually surprise me if if someday like you know a season 3 or up next part of avatar something related to avatar comes um and the cabbage corp guy becomes the antagonist or something he is like you know what i've been i've been <laughs> mistreated these whole two series avatar the last airbender and um, the legend of korra me and my cabbages have continuously been mistreated you know what i'll not forgive them and <laughs> he becomes the main antagonist <laughs> i don't know the cabbage vendor or whatever <laughs> and <laughs> oh my god that would be hilarious <laughs> <laughs> for a moment you know like when they were arresting the cabbage corp guy for a moment i actually thought that maybe this guy was like you know he was like you know what i'm sick of sick and tired of this whole like you know crap you know like me and my cabbages always are getting the short end of the stick you know i'll be the main antagonist and I, for the moment when they were arresting him i thought maybe he really was the antagonist or something <laughs> maybe he was a part of the equalists or something <laughs> because he's so sick and tired of all the benders always like you know breaking his cabbage and destroying his stuff but then we realized that nah he was just a <laughs> victim of the circumstances sato uh, sato uh <clears throat> hero uh, hero actually uh, put the blame on him uh, made him the um, what do you call it uh the one who took all the blame you know like blamed him and uh yeah so, <laughs> anyways enough of the cabbage guy um so yeah we uh, cora is eaves, not eavesdrop but listens to hero talking about that stuff she is good that at that moment she actually did not say anything like that's responsible you know like she listens to that she could have easily told the others but she did not she was like what should i do she went back to tenzin to actually like you know get advice from him and i don't know what they even thought about like tenzin and beifong like both of them they were like you know what we don't have proof but let's just go you know and and confront them and like i don't know what the hell they were thinking like like no one does stuff like that like you know you sh if you get like this type of an idea you should probably stop try to gather more information and evidence and then strike you know they they just went in and then just blamed them blatantly in front of his face he was obviously he would deny that and that even makes him more alert for the next time he would probably like you know like hide everything or something and it would be more difficult to actually catch him doing the deed so i don't know what they thought without even any evidence they just went blatantly in like barging in and obviously they found nothing thankfully there was that one guy who actually helped us the guy who was in the equalist and he was like you know what i don't want any wars so let me just you know like get my hands off this and he gave us more information about the whole thing that that was really a good thing you know like i don't know what they would have done if they did not get that uh hint but yeah anyways um they get the more you know more proper concrete evidence they go in they like you know beifong gets the you know, like uses her earth bending to find out the tunnel they goes in and obviously that scene happens which really annoyed me as i was kind of ranting about this you know in the beginning of the discussion the whole scene with mako and um you know uh, asami uh, not asami sorry kora and that really like you know i'm, I'm my respect dropped for him at that moment like i understand he did that because you know like it was because he i don't know like he was maybe he was mad at and got angry probably a little outburst he came up with but 
like why would you even say that to Korra? Like he's supposed to be av the avatar, and even if she's not the avatar, you know, she's supposed to be your friend. Like that's how you see her that she would actually blame someone innocent just because she's feeling jealous. Is that what you got from her after you know interacting with her all this time? My God, like. Even Asami did not say stuff like that. Mako comes in and just says that. Like, anyways, I'll stop now. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that happens. And, you know, like, they go underneath. Uh, uh, Hero, like, you know, tells us, not tells us, but shows his true colors. And here, we, like, you know, we go again. This, the same thing. You know, th this is one plot point that comes a lot in anime, uh, TV series, everywhere. Like, my family or my like you know like people got like you know my parents or like you know, anyone who I, the people i loved they got killed by this organization so now nah, this few people so that's why i would do something uh that would like you know like take my revenge on that whole thing like the basically what he was doing is like just because a few vendors you know uh i think killed his parents i think that's what he said Killed his parents, which is obviously something that no one should like. You know, like that's that's one of the biggest. Uh, what can I say? Like obviously, like he he would get emotionally scarred, and I don't blame him for that. And obviously, he would get his revenge thing going on. But because of those few benders, he was actually trying to punish all the benders. Like, what's up with that? Like, and he was actually uh, helping that one guy Amon, who would probably be like you know like the same person that. In the future, you know, like as he gains more power, he would probably become the same person who who actually killed his parents. Like, I don't know if I'm able to properly explain this, but if what Amon, you know, like wants comes true, he would probably become the ruler of this whole place. He himself would, as time goes on, would probably do the same things that those benders did, you know, that the, those benders that killed his parents. He would do the same uh, crimes that those people did and so basically he's helping someone who would become not who would become he's still doing those stuffs you know like killing people and just you know tormenting other people just because uh, of his own ideals of that yeah benders are bad normal people are good this this i this this thing but just because of this he's hurting innocent people that's the same thing that happened to you hero you know like the same thing happened to hero so he's basically helping that other people to do the same thing that ha happened to him. Like th this is like, you know, this is the thing. Like this is one plot point that kind of comes up in a lot of animes and not only animes, a lot of TV shows and stuff like, yeah, like revenge, this whole revenge thing that these few people like, you know, did something bad to me. So I'll destroy the whole thing. Like that's basically it. Like, I, um, yeah, it's, it's something like that. So I, I don't know, like, you know, like what he was thinking, but obviously it's something that he came up or, you know, at, at, at anger and, uh, you know, the whole revenge thing. It, it, revenge is very bad, you know, that's why, you know, it, it makes people do stuff which they don't even realize they're doing wrong. And I'm, I'm sure that's, that's the same thing that he, happened to Hero because he seems like a, re, like, you know, he seems like a nice guy, but he, he just was probably a victim of the circumstance and he... Like, you know, after uh, that incident, he probably was never able to forgive. Oh, he said his wife, not his parents. Let me check. He said his wife, didn't he? Or, or was it his parents? I, I can't find that place. Um, okay. Okay, these benders. Yeah, mother, not parents. Sorry, it was Asami's mom, not his mom. Sorry, um, your mother. Uh, so yeah, his wife. Sorry. So his he they took away his wife. They killed his wife. Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, like you know, like he they, the the benders took away one of his loved ones. So like you know, I'm guessing that that probably triggered this in him, the the whole revenge thing. And revenge is very bad. That's why you know, like it it makes you lose your mind completely and look at what happened to this guy he 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 probably is a very nice guy and and you know like in, when before but now like you know after this like he he completely went on this whole revenge thing and he's now thinking about destroying all of the benders just because a few benders you know 
uh, killed his wife. So yeah, and and he's helping someone who is a mon who would probably become those like you know become a monster in the future and probably rule upon them. So you know like you you lose your mind whenever you get into this whole revenge thing. And seeing how he interacted with Asami, I I feel like he was a he was probably a really good guy. But because of that one incident, everything went wrong. And yeah, and in the end, like you know, everyone gets uh, what do you call it? Arrested? Oh no, no one gets arrested. Sorry, what am I even saying? Um, they zap him. Wait a minute, let me check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Asami zaps both of them uh hero and the other guys and and they run away from there okay yeah no one gets arrested sorry <laughs> for a moment i forgot that and they run away and so i'm guessing hero is going to uh yeah hero is going to probably join the equalists from here onwards and maybe in the future we might have to face him again yeah it'll probably be something like that yeah, and then in the end, like, you know, Tenzin says that, uh, oh, the whole thing with Beifong saying that I'm going to resign. And that's another big thing, you know, like, he, she wants to do something outside the law. So, wonder what he, she'll do. Uh, that and then whole thing of, you know, like, Marco and Asami. And it does feel like Korra kind of, you know, like, gave up on the whole Marco thing. So, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I, I really don't like Marco. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just, <laughs> maybe I'm just, you know, like fussing too much about one thing. But, but I don't know, like, yeah, that, that's just me, you know. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get started. Episode number eight. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Ugh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was good. Okay. When extremes meet. Okay. Extremes meet. <laughs> All right, here we are. <laughs> My domain. <laughs> oh, that's Pavu. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Naga's having a great time. Whoa, kid! <coughs> Calm down! <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Berlin. Wow. She <laughs> she followed that actually. Just a sec. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. 
Oh my god, yo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> she, she, she talks too much. <laughs> this kid. Yo, she completely, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Titan. Okay. Okay. Hope this guy's good. Oh no. Just as I was saying, I, I, I really wish he was a good guy. Wow, okay, here we go. It's one of his people, isn't it? I think so, yeah. This guy, oh boy. Here we go, the police is also in the wrong hands now. Yeah. He and his... Oh, oh really, okay. She doesn't. Vanity project. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? So how dare you <laughs> oh my god this guy's ah my come on okay this guy oh my god Nah, she needs to do more meditation. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Come on, we need to meet Ang. Come on, we need to meet Ang. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, the, the, the visions we're getting. The visions. Yeah. Hmm. We saw Ang. I think that was Ang. Yeah. Okay. Oh really, we do need to meditate. I was just joking. <laughs> oh yeah, obviously you need to meditate because Ang also did that, you know, to get to meet Roku. Oh, maybe we'll meet Ang this episode. Let's see. I'm really waiting to meet him again. He with his beard. Oh my god. Oh, Pablo. My god. Mm, it's nothing.
True. Yeah, but um, I guess he had his circumstances. <laughs> oh my god um uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay. Oh, is this the... Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. Oh my god, you're over the weight limit. <laughs> uh, maybe some cars? We have this... Yeah, there you go, the automobiles. Oh, whoa, what the... Damn! <laughs> From Appa to this. <laughs> uh, but guess what? This can't fly. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, something's happening. Wow, this is really helpful, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, there you go, nice. <laughs> Damn. Oh! Yo. <laughs> okay. Oh, if we had airbending, you know. Come on, Cora, can we airbend a little bit? Oh, never mind. Okay. Yes! Haha! <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh my god, the T blocking. Yeah, this T blocking won't work on her. <laughs> All right, a little bit more. Yes. Okay, nice. Okay, we did not do much damage, you know. Yes. Good. Oh, Tarlock is here. Yeah. No, he. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't even here, so we are not in our in our way, you know. You're not even here. Your police force was not here. What? What the?
Oh my god, come on. Oh, great. What are these guys? Like, they always listen to... <sighs> great, now we'll have a curfew. We have a job to do. Oh no, what? Asami. <laughs> that one, oh my god, that one statement. Ah, oh, god. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. What's happening? Oh, because of the curfew or something? Yeah. Yeah, it's because of the curfew. Oh. Wait, why did they take their power away? Oh my god. Oh, we need to get this guy off of here, you know, Tarlock. Like, why? T why are they taking away the power? They're doing the same thing as Amon is doing. Like, what is wrong with what? Wow, this is another. Oh, great! The thing that Amon is doing, this guy is doing the same thing now. Great. What the hell is wrong with them? <laughs> this is what Ang fought for. What the hell? What? Brother? But who? You know what? No, no, you know what? Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that was that was a rational decision, you know? Good. We need this guy to, oh my God. Wait, is he also a bender? A Tarlock? I don't remember. I think he is, isn't it? Oh my god, what a mess. Oh god, here we go. Yeah. Darlock's pet is here.
<laughs> Come on, Cora, calm down. Oh my god. <laughs> god, what a mess. Yeah, you know what? Let's just buzz them out. Like, like, enough is enough. Let's just... Yeah. Oh, or maybe take him hostage or something. That'll do. Yeah, come on. Just, just beat him up, you know? Just beat him up. You know? Yeah, yeah. Let, let's get ready. Let's just beat him up. And... Yeah, I don't want you to actually, you know, <laughs> get to know of my... I was just saying that. What? Are you stupid? Oh my god, this guy! This guy is... Let, let's, let's, let's... <laughs> yeah, let's just beat you up, you know? Oh my god! No, he's worse than him, I think. Come on! Come on, Cora! Okay, he, he attacked first. Self-defense. Just beat him up. Just beat him up and just... Yeah, yeah, just come on, come on, beat him up. Oh my god, this guy's infuriating. Just boil off the water or whatever, I don't know. Come on, come on! Oh no. Okay. Yes, come on. Yes, yes, come on. Yes. Yes, yes, come on. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yes, just beat him up. It's enough is enough. Like, these type of people need to be taught a lesson. Come on, yeah. What happened? Oh no! Blood bending! Bl oh! This guy! Come on, Cora, you're also a waterbender. No. <sighs> come on, come on. Oh my god, who the hell knew that this guy's a bloodbender? Wait, was that Saka? Wow, this guy has been doing this all the while. Yo, they. Before, before Amon, we need to get rid of this guy first. We need to get rid of this guy first before Amon. What the hell?
Wow! Oh my god! This episode, yo! <laughs> You know what? Yeah. Like, Darlock needs to go. This is enough is enough. Like, this guy is... Like, I feel like... Like, every episode, like... <laughs> you know what is the biggest difference between uh, The Legend of Korra and the Avatar The Last Airbender? In Avatar The Last Airbender, everyone who we thought were the enemy were actually the enemy. And everyone we, who thought we, we thought were the allies were actually our allies. Here, the people who are thinking are our allies are turning out to be enemies. And I don't know, maybe who, people who think are our enemies will be our allies or something in the future. <laughs> I don't know. That, that, that kind of happened in Avatar as well. You know, Zuko became our ally. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like here, like, like appearances are deceiving in this episode, uh, in, this, in this show. And that kind of really makes sense because at that moment, it was clear cut, you know, in Avatar, everything was clear cut. There was a war happening, uh, Firebender, like, you know, the Fire Nation, uh, Ozai, they were bad. Everyone related to them who were fighting the war were bad. All the other nations were good. Like, you know, like, it was, it was a clear cut, like, you know, it, because it was a war. Like, you know, everything was clear cut. There was no, like, politics, no, like, you know, tricking others, no deceiving others. Nothing was like that. You knew that, yeah, these people are my allies. These people are my enemies, like, clear cut. Here in Korra, like, like in the pretense of everything being, like, you know, peaceful, every, everything in, 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 like, you know, inside is in a complete mess. Like, that's what's happening. This is basically the modern generation. And they, I have to say, like, props to them. Like, they were able to really bring that out. Like, how, like, you know, like, in, in, in this, like, in, in this modern times, how in, uh, in the legend of Korra, how everything is not as it seems. Like, you know, there is corruption, like, you know, like, like these type of things are happening. Like, it's, it's, it's just messed up underneath. Like, you know, we, we're living on a fabrication of peace. That's basically what's happening in the legend of Korra. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Like here, we don't even know who is, like, you know, our enemy, who's our ally. We don't know that. Like, that, that's the biggest problem here. And here, I feel like, like, you know, like, in Avatar, like, everyone was, like, there was no mind games in Avatar. You know, like, it was very simple. While here is filled with mind games. Like, you know, like, people basically trying to, like, I don't know, like, take off, somehow trap you or something. Like, for example, Tarlok is the biggest example. Like, he's one of the, I don't know, like, worst characters in this show. Like, what is wrong with him? Like, I don't know what, what the hell he's trying to do. You know, I don't know whether... He's doing everything because he wants the good for the city, but actually, you know, like, you know, underneath everything, maybe, uh, like, you know, his way of doing things a little bit twisted and extreme, maybe that's basically him. Or maybe he really is not actually working for help, helping us, but he's actually trying to do the opposite. And maybe, I don't know, he's part of some, maybe he's part of the equalists. I don't think that's, bas that's the case. I don't think he's part of the equalists. But I feel like, you know, the, it, 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 it's most probably that he is, he also wants the good for the city, but his, his, his sense of judgment is twisted. That's basically him. He thinks like, yeah, the way I'm doing things, that's how we should do it. And like, just like how Amon is extreme in his own way, this guy is extreme in his own way. Amon is like, yeah, all ben non -bender, all benders should, like, you know, like, I should take away all their bending away, they should all die, this, that. Amon is saying that, and this guy is like in the, in the other extreme. Wait a minute, then oh, okay, the title makes sense so much. Okay, what was the title? Let me just check. Uh, when extremes meet, the title makes so much sense now. Like, Amon is one extreme, um, this guy Tarlock is another extreme. Like, Tarlock is basically like, oh, like all uh, non benders, sh you know, should be. Uh, I don't know, captured and imprisoned because, you know, they're non-vendors and Amon is basically the opposite. Like, what a mess we are in. And I don't know why the hell the other people are actually keeping this guy. Those, those three council members, I don't know who they are. I don't know why they're even, like, you know, allowing Tarlock to do all of the, those things, you know, like, like, what is wrong with you? Can, can't you just understand that what he's doing is actually becoming a big problem? Like, when, when he said that, oh, like, am I, like, 
who knows maybe they are also like actually a, a, a you know Tarlock's men like it wouldn't surprise me if in the end it is actually revealed that those three people are also Tarlock's men and they're just like you know the yes yes men the yes men and women who just like you know who's sitting there and just raising their hands doing whatever uh, Tarlock is telling them to do it wouldn't surprise me actually but I don't know who knows like you know like I <sighs> and <sighs> Like obviously Tenzin is all alone in that council, like you know, room. And obviously, like uh, since this is like you know, like doing like everything is happening because of the majority voting system. Obviously, because Tenzin is alone, he cannot do anything. Like Tarlock is always like you know doing stuff his own way. So yeah, like oh, my God. Oh, so yeah, in this begin in the beginning, we kind of was, was like like a little happy portion, you know. Um, they we go to the air temple and um asami and everyone is just settling in oh another important thing that girl i don't know what his name her name is i think her name is ikki yeah ikki she basically blabbers about the whole thing like <laughs> what like smako like what the hell <laughs> just just like that caught me by surprise like what like at that timing and Asami is like, wait, really? I did not know that. And she's like, ah, that's awkward. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then like, you know, like the next scene of like, I feel like uh, the, uh, Beifang's decision of actually uh, leaving, like, you know, the, uh, the police was a very bad decision. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he, she'll actually make up in the future like she said something about she has some other plan you know she she wants not to be confined by law but i don't know i feel like she could have done a better job if she actually was in the police because she's one of the good people and now in comes this another i don't know what the hell his name is and i don't even i won't even bother to try to find it out because oh saikan uh, i found it out anyways <laughs> saikan um you know, he, he's another one of those people who was just bought by um, Darlock. And like, you know, like he, now, now, the, now the police force is also gone. That it's under his leadership now. So I don't know. I feel like Beifang actually going away from the resigning from the police chief is something. Uh, I don't know. As I said, we need to actually wait. We need to see what she actually plans on doing in the future. Because I cannot say like, like for now, it feels like her decision to be like you know to resign is probably was probably a mistake because this is what's happening now the police force is also gone out of our hands and everything is in tarlock's like you know pockets so we'll have to wait i don't know what beifang is planning but uh who knows maybe it'll be better than we think uh, that's why i'm saying we'll have to wait okay that was that and um <clears throat> okay the whole thing with uh airbending it, it comes up you know, Tarlock just says that, oh, you're not an avatar, you're blah, 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 you don't know bending, air bending, and this, that. So, Korra gets depressed. Uh, Tenzin tells her to actually uh, go and have a little you know, meditation so that she can meet uh, uh, Aang. And I think she should have actually tried that before actually just barging in into uh, Tarlock's uh, place. She really, I, I think she needed to meet Aang. Because I think Ang could have probably gave her a lot of new pointers, uh, a lot of help. And I really hope she actually does that in the future. I'm sure she'll do it. You know, she should probably go into meditation and ask Ang for help. Um, so, yeah. And those visions that we, she was seeing, it kind of makes sense that those were actually uh, something that is kind of similar to that. The way Ang used to you know, meet with Roku, that's also something like that. So she actually needs to uh properly meditate and what she said like you know she's also like cannot do stuff spiritually so she need more practice i think i don't know what she needs but hopefully like, you know surely in the future she'll kind of be able to do it uh, i'm sure i can help her in a, in a lot different way you know then tenzin is helping her you know tenzin is helping her train and i'm sure ang would be able to kind of give her some pointers and stuff so yeah anyways um yeah and then we get the, the new um theme avatar you know uh, asami mako bolin and Korra, and uh, naga as well okay uh 
we get a new car um, you know Asami's car <laughs> and we start arresting people not arresting but kind of capturing them and uh, the people who were you know like doing stuff illegal stuff we get them Tarlog is mad Tarlog is like oh like you know like you are impeding our work you're in our way this that blah blah and yeah now again like then then comes the council meeting and he says that like you know what let's just you know like put on a car uh, like you know put on a curfew and i don't know what the hell he was even doing even after that decision like um and and i don't know like i feel like he he really bought like those three people the other three council members uh, the one old lady and the two other old men i feel like i don't know I, it wouldn't surprise me if he actually like you know bought them or something bribed them because as soon as she says that they don't even think they just like you know like raise their hands and they're like yeah that's that's a good decision <sighs> my god and yeah and then what she he does is he actually torments the normal people by taking away their electricity so basically what he's doing is he says that you can't go out because of the curfew or to all the non-benders and like you know like not only that he takes away the electricity so obviously people are coming out and they're like give us our electricity back like what the hell are you doing and he's like you know what you uh, like you know you uh, uh, disobeyed the rules you're out of like you know the curfew is on you're arrested and he just arrests them like what type of an administration is this like this this feels stupid really stupid you know the way Tarlock is doing stuff it's obviously like it, it, it's very stupid like what is he even trying to do here you know he, he's just arresting normal people randomly what would what would that help him to do i don't know i have no idea what he's trying to do here like that's why I'm, I'm kind of confused you know like like by arresting these normal people what does he try to accomplish what is he trying to accomplish i have no idea like my god and obviously Korra comes and tries to help them out and all the others also get arrested like um wait why did Marco and Bolin get arrested just a sec they're okay oh I think they, they tried to stop her that's uh stop him that's why for arresting Asami yeah yeah that's I think that's what they do that's what was happening oh so yeah so basically Korra tried to stop him so he was like, you know what, we have like, you know, Asami here, let's just arrest him, her. Um, I think Marco and Bowling tries to stop that, so they also get arrested. And Korra is like, yeah, what do I even do here? And this is what happens if you give power to one person. You know, like this, 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 like he, like basically he, he's the main person here now. Like, you know, everyone's like listening to him and he has his own twisted ideals inside his head. You know, like, and he just wants to do things in his own way. And this is what's happening now. <sighs> and that's why I was saying, you know, like I was saying that you, you actually cannot do stuff to this guy. You know, you can't stop him in, in normal method. Just beat him up. You know, just beat him up. And like, I think I, I like at least I thought that would have been a better way to actually handle the situation. Because you see, you cannot do stuff normally here because he's basically the law here currently. You cannot do stuff in the normal way. Like, if you actually try to get him arrested or do something, he would obviously, like, you know, not do anything like that. Like, he, he would, because he's the leader here, nothing could be done to him. So, what do you do in that situation? I don't know, just beat him up and... <laughs> that, that, that seemed like the proper way here. And, which is what Korra kind of does. And I'm kind of, like, you know, I, I think, like, she made a correct decision there because that was actually the only way of getting to... Tarlock at that moment you cannot do things the normal way you have to you know like go take a different alternative route that's what she tried to do but who knew this guy had blood bending in her nobody knew that if Korra actually knew that she could have even like you know she could have tried to take some I don't know try to take some more countermeasures or something you know to stop him from using blood bending you know just knock him out or something do something like that he could have tried to do that but she didn't even know he knew bloodbending like that came as a huge surprise to me as well 
and Korra comes in, you know, and obviously I knew Korra could handle herself because she's the avatar and she could easily like, you know, defeat uh, Tarlock, even though Tarlock uh, put up quite a big, like, you know, good fight, uh, Korra kind of had him. But as I said, again, who even knew that he had bloodbending within him? He starts bloodbending and then Korra gets like a weird vision within her, her, you know, where we see, like, let me check here. Um, let me check that flashback again. Like, I feel like a lot of information gets revealed in this flashback. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, so Tarlok did the same thing to Sokka. I think that was Sokka. So he bloodbended Sokka's... Okay, Toff tried to stop him. I think, I think that's Toff. Yeah. And, um... Ang tried to stop him, but couldn't. Wait, where's Katara? I don't find Katara here. Wait a minute, just let me just go back again. Maybe Katara was not here. Okay. Yeah, it, it was Saka. The first person that we see, I think that is Saka. That that's that feels like Saka, you know, the the beard and the the, the you know that. And then we see, yeah, that's definitely Dov. That's definitely tough. Look, she, she, she kind of became tall, didn't she? Tough became tall. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Tough's metal bending. She tries to stop. Uh, wait, who's that guy in, in handcuffs? I don't know. Who's that guy? Is that Tarlock? And then we see Anne. My god, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of things here. Like, you know, hidden. And I feel like this guy probably did the same thing before as well. He probably, uh, I don't know, like did something to Ang as well. And maybe they, they had a fight or something. Like, there's, there's a lot of mystery surrounding this. So, yeah, we actually need to take this guy down as soon as possible. Because he was a threat to Ang as well, I feel like, before. So yeah, like I don't know how Akora will get out of this situation. You know, he's taking her somewhere in a, in a in a in a truck or whatever, not a truck, sorry, in that car. And I don't know. I, I feel like who could even help her in this situation? I feel like he she needs to do something to get out of this on her own because I don't think anyone could help her in this situation. Like nobody even knows where Cora went. She went like you know alone, not telling anyone. And um, Bolin, Mako, and Asami, they are not available. They're all arrested currently. Tenzin wouldn't be able to realize where they went. And I feel like maybe there is a chance of Beifong coming in. Uh, I'm calling her Beifong because I don't remember her, her name. Um, I, I can't remember her name, you know, like... Uh, Toph's uh, sis, uh, <laughs> daughter, Toph's daughter. So, yeah, like, maybe, maybe she can come and help, but that even seems a lot less, that chance seems a lot less. So, I think maybe Korra will do something herself. Maybe, you know, like, she has, maybe she'll get some vision from Aang or something, maybe she's, she'll learn airbending or something. <laughs> I don't know, like, she has enough time to kind of meditate, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, she can just meditate, talk with Aang and maybe... You know, get some hints and stuff. I don't know. We'll have to wait for that. But yeah, she needs to do something. I think she needs to break out from in, uh, from inside. And if she knew metal bending, I think she could have done some... Oh, but I think that that car is probably not made of metal or something. It's made, probably made of something else. So yeah, like this, this scene kind of reminds me of that whole situation with Toph, you know, where she was also being captured and, you know, in, in that, that metal thing. And she, she learns metal bending on her own and gets out of that situation. This reminds me of that because, you know, Korra is also kind of in the similar situation. But who knows, maybe, we'll see. Wow, this episode was, this is a great episode, I have to say. It was infuriating in a lot of times. But yeah, now I realize what we need to do first. We, like, you know, like the, the, the guy who we know is the enemy, it's easy to kind of, you know, go and fight against him and stuff. But like people who are beside you, if that person turns out to be your enemy, you need to get him out of here as soon as possible. You know, you need to take him down. 
and that's one that one person is uh, Tarlock. He's an enemy, you know, like enemy kind of, uh, disguising as, as as a friend. So you need to get him out of here as soon as possible. We need to take this guy down first, then deal with Amon. Like otherwise, it will be even more messier. Like he he's going to destroy the nation from the inside before Amon even tries to do something from the outside. Like Amon won't even have to do anything. Like you know, he um, Tarlock would probably destroy the whole place in, on his own. Just you know, like <laughs> from the inside, he he would probably do something like that. So I don't know what his plan is. What why he's doing this? What's his intentions? I have no idea. Is this whole, his own twisted, like, you know, way he's thinking that, yeah, maybe I'll make a better place. Is this his own way, own twisted ideals? Or if he really is like an enemy? I don't know. We'll have to wait for that. And I'm sure they're going to let us know in the future. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Avatar. Um, ah, I always make that mistake. This is my reaction to The Legend of Korra episode uh, number seven and eight so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah i, th I, th I think I, I got a little bit too excited in today's episode especially <laughs> episode eight when i was just screaming that beat him up beat him up i was so pissed off at talog my god like he annoyed me he really annoyed me and i don't know like we really need to get him out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> anyway, so see you guys in the next video next week with two more episodes of The Legend of Korra. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.